Hey everyone, welcome back to SudaTech. Today we're going to be installing RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 2. RetroPie is a pretty simple to use collection of emulators that are all housed within a very nice UI. So let's get right into it. Go over to retropie.org.uk and you can go and download the latest version. As you can see in the video, I went and checked the file hash and compared it to the one provided on the RetroPie website. This is, of course, optional, but it's good to make sure that you have the correct version of the file. Then lastly, we can burn it onto our SD card with Win32 Disk Imager or the Disk Imager of your choice. Go ahead and set up your Raspberry Pi with the SD card, power, preferably a game controller, although it's not required for this step right now. You will need a keyboard, however, to go through this tutorial, since we will be doing some more advanced configuration with the terminal. I'd also recommend plugging in the Ethernet jack just so that you can keep things up to date. Once it's powered on and plugged into your TV, RetroPie should boot up with the Emulation Station, which is the front-end UI, and you'll get a configuration for the gamepad. Go ahead and press the correct keys or what you'd like to map the keyboard to, and if you don't have any on your game controller or don't want to set them up, you can just press and hold and it'll skip it. Once that's completed, you'll be greeted by the main RetroPie menu. Go to RetroPie Setup, then go ahead and run the basic install. Once that's done, we can go into the Raspberry Pi configuration and dial in a slight overclock. I went for the highest preset. Once it's done rebooting, go ahead and press F4 to access the terminal, and I'm going to go ahead and do app-get update and app-get upgrade to make sure all the packages are up to date. Now the last step of installing RetroPie is to get some ROMs in it so that you can actually play games. Now these you can download from a variety of places online or rip them from your actual media. Just keep in mind that you should only be playing games that you actually own a physical copy of. Take an empty USB drive and go ahead and plug it into the RetroPie. You'll see it blinking a little bit if it has an indicator light, and when it's done doing that, you can go ahead and pull it out. Now if you open it up in your regular computer, you should see a new folder on it called RetroPie. In there, there's a subfolder called ROMs, and in there, there's a bunch of subfolders for each of the systems. Go ahead and drag the ROMs for each system into each folder, and then plug it back into the RetroPie. It'll flash a bunch again, and when it's done doing that, you can press the SELECT key, or whichever key you selected to be the SELECT key, and go ahead and reload Emulation Station. From here, you'll have a couple of tab-like things that you can scroll through and access all of your different ROMs. So that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.